Did he reject temptation? Hi guys. <laughs> Can I put this mom in the mustard? I'm trying to think if he was even tempted. Yeah, but. Mm, Daddy, the zucchini. Mm. Well, I don't think he had, or I don't think they mentioned. So I don't think squishy. it was mentioned. Daddy, the zucchini. Have we talked about him recently in a study? Why is my mother so far away? <laughs> Look, I made a butt. Okay, what's the what question? Does it look like, so. What does it look like? Do a butt a or pants? Does it look like a butt or so pants? So far, we know the man. Um, I don't, I don't think, think family. So. No wife. Okay. Um, yes. No does special this power look from like Jehovah. A butt or pants? Uh, no um, n known no. temptations. Um, and I just does asked you to live like long. Hi, Kelly. Huh? Don't say that at the table. What it look like, pants? Does it look like pants, mommy? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a Let me show you our food. Mm -hmm. This is what like dinner that. is looking like at the McRae household. So, Mr. McRae, look at you guys. He made dinner. Mm -hmm. These are all turned upside down. But look at how good these look. Oh, this God. is Bella's food. Bella, how does your food taste? So good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had the Holy Spirit with me because I was scared as ever. Baby. And you did amazing. That salad looks mm. incredible. Bunny, how's your food? So good. Am I on camera? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, can I slay my bear herbs? I'm using the burn knife. I'm trying to cut this. But I use my thumb instead. Because how's your food, Mommy? I'm so good. Yeah. Because my sister looks like she's Oh my gosh, Jessica Ron Hell, she says I made the tomatillo sauce. Mm. Wow. Ooh. 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 Jessica. Can I, can I pop down? Um, I'm gonna put it down. Daddy, can we have a hint? I want a hint. Cause this man he sounds pretty Wait, no, 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 no. I have a question. It's yeah. so good. We're eating the tomatillo sauce right now. Isn't handsome? Like stated. <laughs> oh, that's I a good think question. Really mentioned. Hey, okay. mommy. Daddy, was he a side character to like a main character in the Bible? You could say so. Okay, okay, okay mommy. Uh, you could say so, but also no. Oh. Was his father spiritual? I thought it was a known family. Like, we don't know oh, if he yeah. has a family. Mm. This is probably spiritual. I thought you were talking about immediate family, like wife, wife, children. Oh, I thought we were talking about, like, family. Like, nope. Mm. Okay. Oh, y'all, I thought y'all was talking about, like, if he had, like, a wife and son and daughter and all that stuff. Does he have, like, like sister, brother? Yeah. Or father, mother? Okay. Are they spiritual? Yeah. Okay. Well. Are they like lazy spiritual? Oh. Okay. Um, I was gonna ask, uh, mommy. There's a girl mentioned in Song of Solomon. Mm -hmm. Oh. What was her name again? Um, that had the eyes of a dove. A dove. Mm -hmm. That is good, baby. Michael? This mushroom. The what? Saul's pretty dog? Mm. Mm -hmm. It's good. Wait, Solomon. Solomon. Oh, no, never mind. It is what about good. In the Song of Solomon, there's a story about a girl who had the eyes of a dove, and she didn't, I think it was, she didn't want to. Mm. So first, I tried to cut this mushroom off of our night, but I couldn't. But I used the, my... My nail one is very sharp. Just a warning. And and uh, my uh, thumb nail it can make can, any type of wine. Can, and it's so yeah. Good. I want to hit too. Hint. Yeah. yeah oh, hint. Look, the mushroom stuck in me. Just kidding. We want to hit, Daddy and Mommy. They're just whispering. Five letters or less. 
Cross up, but is it good? The mushroom? Uh-huh. It has five letters and less. Mm. He has five letters in his name. Five five letters mm. and less. Mm. Can we get another hint? <laughs> is he royalty? Oh, good question. Sorry, I have drawings on my face, so just... Is his just wife known more than he is? We already talked about him and his not having so a while. So oh, yeah, he got it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Is somebody in his family known more? I would have to because this was... This wasn't that helpful. like someone in his family known more? Like how... Yeah. Okay. Have anyone tried this? Um, but he's known too, so... I know what you're he's, asking. He's disgusted. He's not disgusted. Somebody in his family is disgusted more than he is. Well, he's real important. Okay. Um, is this person in my book Bible stories? You want me to give another hint? Yeah. yeah. I, I have no idea. Same. Jehovah loved him a lot. I think I know who it is. I have no idea. And me and, Mo- and mommy was just discussing how jo- uh, how he loved how, how grandma said something about someone that you helped the loving. No, so mommy say, said someone last night. Oh, you can say he was favored. He was favored by Jehovah. David. Oh my God! I was literally like, listen, I was doing that with David and Daniel. <laughs> I was done with da- I was done with Daniel, and then I was going on to David until Bella mentioned it. Is there Jesus? Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, wait, is this in the Hebrew scriptures? I love that. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. Is okay. he mentioned in, he's mentioned in the Hebrew scriptures? Did he write in the Hebrew scriptures? Mm-hmm. Mm. I love the center of it. Like, it's so meaty. It's mm-hmm. so good. Mm-hmm. It's so good, y'all. Oh, Johnny threw it down. Oh, my face is explaining everything. Mommy, huh? can I show them a trick? Mm-hmm. Okay, you're going to have to move your camera. Thanks, sissy. Mm. Mm-hmm. And this cucumber nuts. Oh. <laughs> is that good? No. Nope. Yeah, so is that scary. good? I can't see it. <laughs> so just go throw it away and rinse off your hands. Favored by Joe. Mm. Mommy, I mean, I mean, I don't think who we discussed. Yeah, but I wouldn't say that as a hint, though. Did Jehovah doesn't say anything about it. Did Jehovah say that this person was his friend? Excuse me. I got ghost. Yum yum. Excuse me. When I said yum yum. Yum yum. I think so. Wait, what did I even ask? Did Jehovah ask if you favored by his friend? Or did Jehovah ask? <gasps> did Jehovah say he was his friend? Yeah. Mm, I don't think he did. I thought he did. No. I thought they said he did because of who he was, like, the, the way he acted. I don't, if there is, I don't know a scripture that calls him his friend. I know Abraham, there's very few friends of God. Le- I mean, we're all friends. Oh, of God, I was thinking like, Abraham then. Exactly. Yeah. It's say not like the Bible doesn't. I'll say Jesus. Okay. Oh my goodness, I have a person in mind. Um, I is, have... are did they um? Were they a gonna... shepherd? Yeah. Excuse uh, me. Daniel. I have no idea who it is. Daniel. Is it Abel? Yeah. You say, well, can be my turn now? Wow, I would have never guessed that. I don't really know Abel. Can be my turn now, Daddy? Yeah. Yay, okay, I'm saying good. Good job. I was just telling Daddy the hint would be that he's a shepherd. <gasps> and you're like, is he a shepherd? I did not hear you guys. 
<laughs> okay, um, I'm thinking. <laughs> that was really good, though. Even though it's simple, I would never guess that. <laughs> I mean, I did guess it, but I'm trying to think of, like, characters, like, well missed, like. Mommy, did you take, like, classes on whispering? Or did you just do it a lot? Yeah, did you? Because <laughs> I, I can't hear you. Why, I can't whisper? And I can hear you very good, Mommy. You know, it's just I'm good at whispering. I think Mommy is like the best whisperer yeah. ever. Hum. Okay, I have a person. Okay. Does is the man. It tastes like the mushroom no. tastes like popcorn. Oh my goodness. Is a woman. Yeah. Is it a good woman? Yep. Daddy, your mushroom tastes like popcorn. Is it a child? No. It's Ooh. not Sophia. I'm I trying to guess that. Like <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait. Can you do that over Wait. there, man? Far, far over Especially there, in front, like, <laughs> tilting him all the way. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you let it rip over there. Don't choke her. <laughs> okay. Did she did she have children? Um uh, just one. Is it Hannah? Yeah. It's Hannah. Mm. It's not oh, funny. Thanks, it's not that good. Though. Okay, it's my turn. Yay! That was a pretty good um. Mm -hmm. hmm. But now time. Don't say just one, you know. Just say yes or no. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say. Just say yes. Just if someone asks, does she have children? Say yes. <coughs> but don't say just one because it'll be easier for us to guess. But you did good. Bella got it. Bella's good. I know Ross's vocabulary, so. <laughs> Same. Okay. My turn. Hmm. Is it a woman? Is it a man? I don't think she picked it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look okay. at the middle of this mushroom, y'all. This wait. This kind of reminds me of like the the fat on like meat. Yeah. It's so I amazing. I love it so much. I need more mushrooms. Cannel popcorn. So That's juicy. what it tastes when like. When I used to eat meat, that was my favorite part. The was the fat. Yes. The mm. fat was I didn't like the on fat. the steak. Oh, on a ribeye. Mm. The fat would bother me. It would. I'm know. happy it bothered it you because I gotta eat it. It would make me almost <laughs> sick, like thinking about it. It like eating the fat off of it. Mm. I always like the, the the really meaty, tough Mommy, part. Mommy, stop moving your arms. Look, dude, it tastes so no, much no, like popcorn. Right it's here. gonna scare like, me. Mm. Is a man. I don't know. I need help. Is a man. Is a man. Is a man. Oh, I thought you already had somebody. Mm -mm. You was ready to go. Mm. Just choose someone simple. Cause the simpler it is, the harder it My is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please don't do a rooster. Like, oh, dude, God. I said chicken, and you were like, mm, no. I. It was. It's a rooster. Stop. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It was an accident. That's okay. <clears throat> it was a good one. No. I was over here naming birds and dude around me. I was like, is it a this? Is it this? Is it this? I said it's a woodpecker. But dude, dude around me had a list of birds and I was just reading them. <laughs> like, <laughs> Mommy, help. Do people eat birds? Yeah. Well, I know they eat chicken, but like, do they eat like. Hmm? She needs help picking okay. someone, and so I want to help her, something. but I also want to play. I'm so helping good. her. Okay, help her. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I get that? What? How is it supposed to help me? <laughs> No, who do I choose? Just say who do I choose. Okay. Hmm. I don't know much about it, though. 
Just choose. I'm gonna have to get my phone and my hands are dirty. Oh. I'm not too sure about it. Just choose. I have someone you want it. Just choose it. Well, if you don't want to, because I want you to be able to play. I thought you weren't allowed to use phones. That's why I use mine. That's she. That I'm it. using my phone. I'm using it all from memory. That would have been the first thing I would have did. Hey, I got a really chewy part from the mushroom. Hmm. I said I got a really chewy part from the mushroom. Mm -hmm. Sweet? No. Like, it's the chewy part you can't really, like, swallow because it's so chewy. Oh, chewy okay. part. I thought you said... Mommy really got me one. Part. Okay. Go ahead and ask your question. Is the man. man? No. Is the woman? Yes. Is the woman? Yes. Is she faithful? No. Is she faithful? No. Is she a bad person? Wait, no. Is she a bad person? Yeah, is she a bad person? Is she a bad person? Is she a good person? Is she a good person? Is she a good person? Um, yeah. What's her name? Joanne? That ain't her name. Sarah? Is it Joanne? Is there a Joanne in the Bible? Is it Hannah? Jonah, Ju, uh, Jonah's yeah. sister. I thought that was her name, Joanne. <laughs> oh, uh, did she have children? Children. <laughs> children. No. <laughs> she didn't. Did, did she have no children? Did she live a long time? It doesn't state it. I'm trying to figure out the lady with the makeup. Is she handsome? Jezebel? Jezebel? Yeah. But we just said Is this person Jezebel? was good. This was a good person. Oh. Jezebel's mommy. Oh, I thought he asked if she was bad, and you said, yeah. Mm. Mm. I heard that, too. But I'm sorry, but I didn't mean that if I did say that. But no, she's not bad. I heard you say that. Oh, okay. Is she so, 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 Good. Does she have, does she have a husband? Oh. Oh. Did she have a husband? You don't have to repeat it, but no, she didn't have a husband. Hi, Ida. Did she have a faithful Ida. husband? Did her didn't husband, husband die? No. She didn't have one at all. Okay. Okay, well, that was person's she not cute? It. Or was she handsome? Doesn't think. Did she give the last little bit of money she had? Like, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, but Oasis said they didn't have a husband at all. So it couldn't be that. It couldn't be the widow. Was she mm -hmm. ugly? Doesn't say. Was it? Uh, is it? You're right. Is it Esther? No, because mm -hmm. Esther, Esther has a husband. And Esther was faithful. Oh. And Esther was beautiful. This lady was ugly? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it was Maybe an average looking woman. Maybe she was ugly, but the Bible's going to say she was very ugly. <laughs> <laughs> did, she, did she look this ugly? Oh, my God. <laughs> Brother has teased me how to make scary faces. <laughs> oh, show, show. No, I have to figure out my face, watch but... this, mommy. Mm -hmm. Eat your food, bunny. Eat your no, food. no, no, no. <coughs> Sit down. Unless you have to fart. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Does the mushroom taste like popcorn to anyone but me? Is it no. a woman? Oh, yes, it's a woman. Is, it, is she? <laughs> is she ugly? Doesn't say. Mm -hmm. Is she cute? Is she cute? Okay, so oh, you can really say. Chewy for me. Okay. Okay. Can I have the mushroom? That was my. That was my no. mushroom. Apart from Wait, this, I want to eat this one. You, I'll give you. No. Why does stop? Thank mommy. you. A bite. It has too much dressing. Too much dressing. Let me lick that dressing off then. Thank you, baby. This made my day. It's okay, mommy. Oh, buddy, I want you to eat it. Did you lick that? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. If Rosa would have done that with me, uh uh. That's why you're gonna ask twice. She would poop on me. Don't say those things. Don't say Okay, y'all ask food questions. Y'all need a hint? Is she ugly? No. I mean, is she cute? It doesn't say Bobby. So I think she's ugly. Does she have faithful relatives? No. Was she... 
Hmm. Did she um, not look smart? <laughs> or did she look like this? It doesn't talk about her appearance. Mm. I wonder if she was ugly. Bunny. Are you eating? Is this person yeah. a child? No. Was she from Judah? I don't know. No, I'll try to look up her location. Here you go. Here you go, Daddy. Ah, my tummy. Oh. Oh. It's the food's not making it hurt, but it's just, it's getting aggravated. I don't know. Oh, I'm letting out some parts. <laughs> you better run. <laughs> Die. Dude, this is like steak. You don't can't just like bite. You have to like. Bobby, don't. Just sit back. Um, I'm staying back. Mm. What do you say, mate? Always just run. I'm always so amazed how well your children know the people in the Bible. <laughs> I'm so surprised I don't know anything in the Bible. Um, Amanda. So, JW Library, lessons you can learn from the Bible. And my book of Bible stories, I'm telling you, you want to go over those. It's it's amazing. And, then you like and the And thank you guys for being with me on my live on my jewelry page. That was terrifying. <coughs> and I appreciate um, you guys that were there because I, I appreciate that. I feel so bad, you know, because it's like, it's hard because like with you guys, we could chill like this, but like them who haven't seen me in so long, don't it's hard that, to just hang out and do this because they're going to, where did you that. go? Where? And you know, I, I want to don't update don't people I do, but it's kind of also like, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to bring the mood down. How do I eat yeah, it? Yeah, so it means a lot to me. Do you guys have any questions or do you want to... No, Hold on, no, no. Hold on. Wait, was that person a widow? Was this in Jesus' day? Was this in Noah's day? Okay. I'll, I'll have him. Was she cute? I meant not cute, but... Does it really matter if she's cute or not? Five letters or less. <laughs> Can we have another hint? Because <laughs> this isn't cutting it. Can you have another hint? Because I have no people in mind. Daddy? Hmm? Hey? Yeah, I'm trying to find a question. <laughs> no husband. <clears throat> like She was her... so beautiful and she was so not cute. And uh, she was so ugly. And she was and in the Hebrew was... scriptures? Well, if it's not Jesus' mm -hmm. day, it has to be in the Hebrew. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear her say that. That's what I was asking. Oh, Mary was in the Always look at me oh, when I do. You're not gonna eat this. It's too burnt. I made it so oh. horribly. I just peeled off the skin and ate the inside. Mm. It's so horrible. Gracias. De nada. Mm. Bella, you're not saying thank you. You're saying you're welcome. Okay. So can we have another hint? Cause the five letters are less ain't healthy. Let's just wait for daddy. Come on, come on. He wants a hint. No, I'm just trying to figure out what question I asked. Do you mind a hint, Bella? A hint? Yes, hint. Val's a hint? Yes, hint. Daddy hint? No hint. I don't care. Okay. If that's what y'all want. That's why I want. But I'm okay. still trying to figure out this question. I know that's right. I know that's right. She didn't worship Jehovah, but she helped him. Is it the spies? Is it Ray? Did Wait, she is have Rahab? the thing hanging out of the window? Rahab? Yes. Good job, baby! Wait! Both of you guys, yes! Can it be my turn now? Mm-mm. It's both turn. I knew that. It was Rahab. 
Was a that, was good. that was real good. Okay, so what we're what we've been doing like every night is someone has to think of a Bible character and we all have to ask questions to and try to guess who it is. It's called twenty questions, but we ask way more than twenty probably. Okay. Um uh, I wanna okay. God, I choked on the yeah, mushroom. Busy, stressful, but but sim- not maybe easy, but simple. <laughs> it was a lot of work. Mommy, but I think you you did good. I choked on my mushroom. <laughs> God, I'm so sorry. I was looking at you always. Mommy, just... you take it out of your throat. Yeah, as always. Maybe. I'm about to hurry up. I'm about to blow it. Please. And we're aimed that way, girl. That's <laughs> what I said. Mm. Why? Oh, it, was oh, it was an accident. I'm oh, sure it was. It was, it, was it was an intentional. Go and go. Bella, you got someone? <gasps> this person's so easy. Kay? Yeah, I do. Is it a woman? Well, yes. It's a man. Is it Esther? Oh, no. no. <laughs> okay. Is it Did she say Jehovah? No. Oh! I'm just not going to It's a bad mushroom. person. Is it bad? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is it? She has a bad No. Mommy. Can be my turn now? Okay. Did she have a child? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Friend? Mm-hmm. Did she harass another woman mm-hmm. that was a faithful worshiper mm-hmm. of Jehovah? Mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can it be my turn? I'm going to say yes. Can be my turn? Did she hurt God's people? Huh? Yes, she did. Physically? Mm-hmm. Yes. No. Did she just like, does her name start with a E? Hey, you can't ask that. No. <laughs> Is Are you e? saying no, like you're not going to answer that? Or no, it doesn't? Yeah, no, I, I don't know who you're thinking of. Eve. Eve? Oh, no. I'm thinking of Eve, too. Mm. Did Mommy. she make fun of somebody? Oh, they like your hair, Mommy. Uh, Jess. Thank you. Jess loves your hair. Oh, my goodness. Did you show me on camera? Because my hair is on this side. My hair's messy. Did she, Wait, what, what was your question? Did she harass someone else because she couldn't have a baby? No. Did she turn into a pillar of salt? Mm-mm. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. I want to chose out. Was it a bad person? Uh-huh. I can't think of anyone. Was she cruel? Yes. Was, was she cruel? I don't know. Here, you just... Really? I put, I put in my own <laughs> yeah. split second. I don't care, girl. Ah! Was it a crewmate? Okay. Was it a who? Just make a little point. Crewmate? Yeah. There were crew. What do you mean? Among Us. <laughs> it's an um, imposter. Just <laughs> Is it? I'm trying to think of bad women. Me too. The Me first too. one I know is Panetta. And I, Jezebel. Ooh. I um, didn't really know her until Daddy brought her up, though. Is she there's a other bad women. Does she look ugly? I mean, is she, does she look cute? Is she in the Hebrew scriptures? Ooh. No. I think so. What's that? What's that? Your baby! I'm going to go. I got one more. That I'm baby. I'm, sorry, I'm, baby. I'm hungry. We eat. <gasps> but I can't. Oh, because you're, uh. I don't know what's going on. I think she's mentioned, yeah, in the Hebrew scriptures. Was she mentioned in Genesis? I have no idea, sis. I need my phone for that. Was was she cute? It's not not sprouted quinoa. Was she cute? I think that's why. Oh, really? Because it it messed me up before, too. Y'all need different types of quinoa? Yeah, because... 
because quinoa is so damn expensive at Sprouts. Hey! And we ended up, um, the I, stories. I bought the My cheaper one, stories. even though the bag that bag that you held up was $10. Um, like that's, a, that's really expensive for that small bag of quinoa. To I don't think so. Uh-huh. Did she learn from the great teacher? I'm not sure. You're not sure if she's in the great teacher? I don't know. It's been a while since I had that book. My book of Bible stories. Is she in my book of Bible stories? Oh, so. Did we learn about her recently? No. Did we watch a video about her recently? Oh. Did we study about her recently? <laughs> That's what I Did she try to target Jehovah's people? Did she try? Was she scandalous? Mm-hmm. Did she try to kill Jehovah's people? Yes, she was. Did she try to kill Jehovah's people? Come on, mommy. Was she undercover, so to speak, like a spy? You could say that. You, you, you could say that. Mm-hmm. Is she in lessons you can learn from the Bible? That she would Bella cute. won't know. If she don't know about my book of Bible stories, no, then Bella would have to know. My book of Bible? I, she's not in my book of Bible stories. Okay, yes. If I don't know if it's, it's in Learn the, from the Great Teacher. Then she, then I don't know who it is. Oh, you don't? Oh, I was like, mm-hmm. come on, mommy, for- bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> but- <laughs> is it Delilah? No. <gasps> is it cute? No, because Delilah is in my book of Bible stories. I thought you did that previously to be even like restaurant style, like I put what you don't want on this, or at least I put what I don't want on this side. No, I just, just the mushrooms I choked on. I got a salad, so I got the, the thing, but I also knew I had the the the. Well, you know, I forgot the name of the Mari. Well, you did good, Dad. Wash. Yeah. Or zucchini. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know. 
can't really give you guys a hint. I have... I believe so. I need my phone, but I believe they're mentioned there. She'll be there in a minute. Oh, Michelle says, I'm late for dinner. Ooh, Amanda says, my book of Bible stories. And what was the other book? Daddy, I'm rooting for you. I feel like you can get it. I feel like you can get it, Daddy. Oh, Out of everybody in this house, I'm confident you can get it. Man, you said that to your mama. I did? Kind of. I thought she was I thought she was on the path yeah, and was gonna spill, was. but I thought she was about ready to just Is it blah blah blah? Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for that too. Oh, and then I was like, oh. I was trying to look it up, too. Or at least something. Like, dang, I'm trying to figure out what book these are looking. Oh, don't look at my book of Bible stories, because she ain't Is there. the story about her a long one? Bella, did you give a hint? No, I don't know what hint. Like, is the story about her a long one? Like, she's in several chapters, or is it like Esther? She has one book. Several chapters. Has. Oh. oh, she got several books. Okay. Several books? Yeah. Oh, dang. Is it Ezra? No. Ooh, I want to learn about Ezra, though. I'm, I'm quite I'm curious. I'm washing towels if you guys have any that need to be washed. Okay. Jersey. I can't really give a hint. I can just say it because there's just no good hint for this person. What are these? Um, is this purple column here good? I don't know. I'm scared. Yeah, they should be. 
Wait, where would you get that from? Right there on the top, or the bed. Yeah, it should be. Okay. I need a hint. Ah, this is so hard because I don't know a hint. Hard for you or hard for us, girl? <laughs> Gotta get washed. Yes, it was Michelle. Hi, Tracy. Okay. Let's get undressed. You know, I I love I love washing clothes. I do. I hate putting them. But something about putting them in the washer, I love. Before I take off my makeup on, I want to try those crazy looks. Um, eyeliner or the stamp? Eyeliner, please. Um, I don't know which books. What, I'm getting confused. What books did I tell you to look up? Was it the ones that we're talking about now? Because we're talking... She's talking about Enjoy Life Forever, but I think you downloaded that already. Thank you, baby. But we're talking about, these are the books. I'll just go over the books I recommend. My Book of Bible Stories. Go ahead, Mommy. Show them what you can do. I don't know. Careful, don't touch mommy because she's trying to do her eyeliner. And she's trying to poop. And she's trying to poop. Hmm, mommy, can I be on your side? What do you mean? Can I know the answer? Or do you want me to guess it? Can I be on your side, mommy? Mm. Can no oasis be on your side? Let me. 
Give her a second. Um, who to even choose? Ooh. Ooh. That's party. What if, like, mommy at the corner of, like, where your iris is, you got, like, a little uh, spike? Mommy, I am beyond shocked you didn't get her or get them. It's just like it's not a real girl, so it's kind of hard. Yeah, but mommy, I did this with grandma, and mommy was present. Yeah. When she did it, so when um, look at this eyeliner like, though, like name and all that stuff, I was like, oh so my good. goodness, she remembers, she's gonna get it, and she was like, oh no, it's just what what the whole one eighty on me. Wait, wait, everyone. Shh. I don't want to. Shh. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> Aw, oh, damn. Can I try this on? Oh, well, I have buttons. My book of Bible stories. Lessons you can learn from the Bible. Okay, my book of Bible stories. Lessons you can learn from the Bible. And learn from the Greek teacher. Did it, boo? Ooh, Ma, you look so nice. What's that? The gloves. She was like, Mommy, I want you to try these crazy makeup looks. Look, and it looks so pretty. Take me I up. just did the black on top. That's so pretty, yeah? Nice. Slippers, thank you. I love my slippers, thank you. Do you love mommy? Yes, very much. With all your heart? Yes, sir. Can you guess how much I love you? Can you guess how much I love you? I can, I can. Okay, mommy, do you want me to give you a hint or show you the answer? Show me the answer. Infinity? <laughs> yep. Is it infinite? Mm hmm Infinite meaning forever and ever. <laughs> yeah. Infinite. Do the scary face. <gasps> Bobby, do the scary. Glitter look absolutely Danielle. Uh, Very much so. Because I'm watching the beginnings of the previous replays, <laughs> I missed because I don't realize that you are lying. That's so weird, Jazz, because like whenever you're on my page and I go live and you're watching an old video, it should automatically pop up. Are you watching me on a computer? <laughs> this this was random. I need to this was random. I need to make sure we're sending text messages out. But sometimes I feel bad because it's like, I'm going to leave y'all right here because I got all kinds of clothes and whatnot. Hey, uh-uh. Here we go. Time to take it all off. And then to take off specifically I ended up making a, um, a nail appointment so I'm gonna get my nails done on Monday I wish that they could get me in sooner but it's I that gives me time to get my toes together because I always get tempted to get a pedicure but they're so damn expensive even getting your nails done is expensive so expensive and I just uh, I don't want to spend money on a pedicure. And I feel like mom, mom gave us her pedicure thing too. So we can just do pedicures on each other. Me. 
Mm -hmm. Mom gave us that pedicure thing so we can do pedicures on each other. When I take off my makeup, I stick by my eyes for a while and get my eyebrows too. And then I'm sure there's so much black on my face. So try to get as much as you can off. Can you give me a wipey, please? Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Daddy! Mm -hmm. Mommy? Huh? Here. Thank you. You need more wipes. Okay. And then I get a wipey to wipe because although I use my hands it's not it's not really exfoliating and I go like this because I get um, makeups in my hair and this just gets off the extra hey did you go pee already yeah uh, hold on, Daddy's changing. Yeah. Does that work? Oh, she ran away. I think. I don't think she ran away. Do you guys want to see this? This is gonna be so gross. You go like this. Look at that. You have to squeeze. Can I see it? Can I see? Is it? The booger. Damn, I know y'all seen that. <sighs> oh my gosh. Look, it's not boogers. I see it. Go oh my gosh. What is that? It's like pimples. Black I got a black head out. Oh look at how big this pimple is, oh, baby. Oh no, daddy. Oh wow. On this side of my nose, oh my watch. God. Come look. Look oh on this God. side, watch. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, baby. Can you come? I'm scared. Can you come with me, Mommy? I'm so scared. <gasps> That's crazy. Can you come with me? That? That's crazy. You always do that to your nose. Ah! Huh? Can I do that? Yeah, hold on a minute. Wait, I'm scared. No, Raza. Um, oh, what is just that? tell her not to scare you. Don't scare me. Oh, yeah. It's working? Mm hmm. Oh, I can't do it to you. It's hard. But you got a little bit. You, you got some. Some came out. I just got my toast done. Finally on Monday, I'm going for my nails this Monday too. I can't get them done in the same as that. I never have enough time. Maybe we can go together. What time is your appointment? Yeah, maybe we'll go together. Yeah, some. That's good, baby. Here. That's why I like to watch Dr. Pimple Popper. <laughs> can you look? Can you look Oasis for me? Because I don't know where she is. No. Maya, you're not gonna scare him, right? I can't deal with the stress of it 
just stay in my room. Raza, no. Because I know how you are, and I know what she's doing, and although she's not trying to scare you, she is hiding so that you can't see her. I don't want this. Stay in my room. Okay. I have to cover here. Ah, you love up. And then now, Moringa oil. This stuff is so good, you guys. I need to wash my hair tomorrow. So, before I know I'm about to wash my hair, I will. I wish I could do that Mommy, in the floor. Mommy, come up away since Mommy shake came out. Can I? Yes. She might be upset, though. Oh, sorry, baby. The Moringa oil. I have nothing. Oh, girl, I noticed the difference with Moringa oil very first day. Very, very first day. Did I put any? I don't think I put anything on Sharon. I mean, I used the, I used the, um, I used the wipey, but I don't think it was anything on it, yeah. Brittany! At 2 Eastern time. So it'll be before mine. Mine is at 3. <laughs> I always watch in full screen, and I can't see my notifications then. Oh, um, Dude, this feels so good in my face. <laughs> the Moringa oil is amazing. Oh, now, I do want to add this stuff, though. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. This is the stuff that I got, got from Walmart. Um, I will use it tonight, especially because, like I said, i got to wash my hair tomorrow. So uh, Sometimes I like adding a little extra stuff. And I want my face to be hella oily. Oh, baby. I need you tonight. I don't know when I'm going to start this period. But. Oh. Hey, Sunny, did you go pee pee already? Yeah. Oh, good. <gasps> I use it every night before bed now. Yes. I love it. Now, this is organic jojoba oil. I look bald. No, you don't. And you know what I've been making sure to do is get the neck. You're so cute, baby. Look at your arm muscles. Those biceps are so big. so big. Don't go to the door. No. Isn't it interesting how men brush their hair? It's like in the same spot, like 50 times. It's only because of the pattern in my hair. Or the pattern I want to get in my hair. Is it because it feels good? No, it's the, the pattern. Like I have to keep brushing it like over and over again in order for me to get the wave pattern. It's to get my hair to set to that, set that way. Nicole, I got it from Amazon. It's on my Amazon storefront. Let me type in the um, Amazon.com forward slash shawl forward slash exo dot red roses. Hi, Anne. And she says, hi, my favorite. You. Hello, my favorite couple. What's up, Anne? <laughs> Mm 
Nighttime routine with the McCrays. That's my idiot, too. Mom, Oh, uh, yeah, Nicole, Amazon storefront. It's so good. I The Moringa oil that's there is my, um, organic and non-GMO. It's really good. It's only $18 for this. I stopped taking my CMOS and my hyperthyroidism is back in full force. My hormones are all the way, are all out of whack, and it's been so incredibly terrible. I have a full bag of sea moss soaking ready to blend tonight. I'm so proud of you, Michelle. I'm sorry, girl. I know how it is. By the way, I see that you text me and it means so much that you did. I promise I'm going to get back to you. I know you don't mind and so you don't even have to say anything, but I just want to let you know like it means a lot to me. Like I'm going to I'm going to get back with you tomorrow. Y'all, and if you see my clothes in the bathroom leave it alone i'm washing okay i oil my elbows and knees too okay oh baby can you take out your clippers so that tomorrow i can clip my armpit hair mm -hmm. and my you know what i kind of maybe i'm gonna clip it tonight because this bush gots to go it needs to be trimmed oh this one is Oh, no. I want a guard. Oh, I'll get that one. This one's to like shape it, right? I think, I think that's just for like light, light doing. Well, I want like a guard so that I don't take off all my hair. Y'all, we talking about the pubes. <laughs> Good, Nicole, you're gonna love it. It's it's so good. I made a banana. Co <gasps> I need bananas. Coconut milk sorbet, and promised myself I'd only eat a cup of it and save the rest. And I think I'm about two and a half cups in. Dude, I'm so proud of you, so proud of me, Danielle. No. Bunny, can you make your bed? You guys, and we, I make our own um, toothpaste. This is, if you guys want some natural toothpaste, I'll tell you my recipe. So, Mountain Rose Herbs, okay? And I use Pau de Arco powder. Pau de Arco powder. I use ground cloves. I use ground ginger. Use this for either uh, this one. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh no, Dan. Oh, gosh. Oh, what is this? Want hmm? to get my Oh, you want to do it? <laughs> 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 Mommy, why? Ah. Oh no. Ah. Mommy, oh no. You want it? Hi, 
Shut the door, I'm gonna get my pews. <laughs> okay, y'all gonna see me in the. <laughs> mm -mm. You know, this is not easy. Hmm. This is not easy. It's not easy? Easy. Yeah, girl, I stopped saving.
I'm getting showered anyway. Whenever I was live, I was talking about a little bit about, you know, how we were in Tucson mm -hmm. and whatnot. And someone says, you should try to wean him off Kratom. Um, something about it being an opioid and something about it could be causing a seizures. Um, just like... Uh, no, it's not an opioid, and I don't have to wean him off of anything. It's not like, but I said that's not what's causing his seizures, and I don't re I don't remember how I responded. I just I try not to be irritated because I feel like maybe people have the best intentions, yeah. but it's just irritating. It's like, okay, this is not like Kratom that you get from a smoke shop. And I had mentioned that. Maybe, if you know. Mm -hmm. But the stuff we take is not laced with anything. And what the hell do you think that you did whenever you were in the hospital? You didn't have no Kratom. So for five days, you weren't going through no withdrawals. You know, that right there is proof you were good. Yeah. You know? Five days from taking Kratom every day throughout the day and then all of a sudden not. You know? Yeah. yeah, you can come in. Patricia got a new profile picture. Oh my gosh. I'm running away, not really. I decided to pack our bags and move it. Oh my gosh, love Allie. Yes. What, Rosa? Come on, bunny. I need you to come lay down. It's it's very late. It's past 10 o'clock. Huh? Let me see. Oh, it's past 11 o'clock. Mm -mm. What is it? It's past 11 o'clock. 11.16. It's 11.16? Yes. Oh. It's late. Come lay down. I'm glad there wasn't a number. I was scared. Come lay I'm down, please. I'm scared and I always have to wake up. But I'm going to wake you up in the morning, okay? Because you don't want to lay right here. Yeah, right there, baby. To me, I think that's better. Can you go with me? Yeah, let me go turn off the shower really quick. I've been off Kratom for days. No withdrawals. Oh, wow, good. Not like I expected anything, but I mean, wow, because you haven't had Kratom. <laughs> it's, I, I don't, I don't get, I don't know how it's even possible to be addicted to the stuff. I really don't. That to me just tells me that the stuff other people have, they can't trust, you know? How could you even possibly get addicted, you know? Like, it doesn't do anything for me if I don't take it. 
Like, if I don't take it, like, that's it. And, and I just, honestly, I just, it always goes back to the fact that I feel like it, it's, I truly feel like it's where we get it from, you know? We don't got to worry about no withdrawals. We don't got to worry about it being laced or all these other things that people tend to worry about. Because it's, yeah. Good for you, Jessica. Same, Amanda. Girl, mm -mm. me personally, I, I want my stuff. It's great for helping me wake up in the mornings and motivate, especially, you know, lately with what's going been going on with Vaughn. It's it's such a help for me to have energy and my my pain has been a little bit more increased these days, but I know it's because of the stress. You can be up here if you want. No, I'm gonna be right here, okay? Scratching? Uh, no, I'm gonna read to you, okay? But I need you to close your eyes, okay? Um, and, uh, um, can they listen because it's very important? Yeah. Yay! Can they listen me fall asleep because I, I kind of make a snoring noise? Yes. Right, Amanda. Right. Exactly, Danielle. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> My book of Bible stories. Okay, try to go to bed, okay? Two brave women. Okay. When the Israelites get into trouble, they cry out to Jehovah. Jehovah answers them by giving brave leaders to help them. The Bible calls these leaders judges. Joshua was the first judge, and some of the judges after him were named Othniel, Ehud, and Shamgar. But two of the people who help Israel are women named Deborah and Jael. Deborah is a prophetess. Jehovah gives her information about the future, and then she tells the people what Jehovah says. Deborah is also a judge. She sits under a certain palm tree in the hill country, and people come to her to get help with their problems. Close your eyes, bunny. Yeah. At this time, Jabin is the king of Canaan. He has 900 war chariots. His army is so strong that many of the Israelites have been forced to become servants of Jabin. The chief of King Jabin's army is named Sisera. One day, Deborah sends for Judge Barak and tells him, Jehovah has said, take 10,000 men and lead them to Mount Tabor. There I will give Sisera to you, and I will give you victory over him and his army. Barak tells Deborah, I will go if you too will go with me. Deborah goes along, but she says to Barak, You won't get credit for the victory, because Jehovah will give Sisera into the hand of a woman. And this is what happens. Barak goes down from Mount Tabor to meet Sisera's soldiers. Suddenly, Jehovah causes a flood, and many of the enemy soldiers are drowned. But Sisera gets off his chariot and runs away. After a while, Sisera comes to the tent of Jael. She invites him in and gives him some milk. This makes him sleepy and soon he is fast asleep. Then Jael takes a tent pin and drives it into this bad man's head. Later, when Barak comes, she shows him the dead Sisera. So you can see what Deborah said came true. Finally, King Jabin is killed too, and the Israelites have peace again for a while. Raza, please don't joke around. I'm serious. You need to go to bed. Don't play. Story number 51, Ruth and Naomi. 
<laughs> Danielle. Oh, Sharon. <laughs> okay, story number 51, Ruth and Naomi. In the Bible, you will find a book called Ruth. It is a story about a family that lived during the time when Israel had judges. Ruth is a young woman from the land of Moab. She does not belong to God's nation of Israel. But when Ruth learns about the true God Jehovah, she comes to love him very much. Naomi is an older woman who helped Ruth to learn about Jehovah. Naomi is an Israelite woman. She and her husband and two sons moved to the land of Moab at a time when there was little food to eat in Israel. Then one day, Naomi's husband died. Later, Naomi's sons married two Moabite girls named Ruth and Orpah. But about ten years, but after about ten years, Naomi's two sons died. How sad Naomi and the two girls were. What would Naomi do now? One day, Naomi decides to make the long trip back home to her own people. Ruth and Orpah want to stay with her, and so they go along too. But after they have traveled a while on the road, Naomi turns to the girls and says, Go back home and stay with your mothers. Naomi kisses the girls goodbye. At that, they start to cry because they love Naomi very much. They say, no, we will go with you to your people. But Naomi answers, you must go back, my daughters. It will be better for you at home. So Orpah starts on her way home, but Ruth does not go. Naomi turns to her and says, Orpah has left too. You too go home with her. But Ruth answers, Don't try to make me leave you. Let me go with you. Where you go, I will go. And where you live, I will live. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. Where you die, I will die and that is where I will be buried. When Ruth says this, Naomi doesn't try anymore to make her go home. Finally, the two men get to Israel. Israel. Here they settle down to live. Ruth right away begins working in the fields because it is the time for gathering the barley. A man named Boaz lets her gather barley in his fields. Do you know who the mother of Boaz was? She was Rahab of the city of Jericho. One day, Boaz tells Ruth, I have heard all about you and how kind you have been to Naomi. I know how you left your father and mother and your own country and how you came to live among a people you had never known before. May Jehovah be good to you. Ruth answers, You are very kind to me, sir. You have made me feel better by the nice way that you have spoken to me. Boaz likes Ruth very much, and it is not very long before they get married. How happy this makes Naomi. But Naomi is even happier when Ruth and Boaz have their first son, named Obed. Later, Obed becomes the grandfather of David, about whom we will learn a lot later on. Story number 52, Gideon and his 300 men. Do you see what is happening here? These are all fighting men of Israel. The men bending down are taking a drink. Judge Gideon is the man standing close to them. He is watching how they drink the water. Look closely at the different ways in which the men are drinking. Some are putting their face right down to the water. But one is taking the water up in his hand so that he can watch what is going on around him. This is important. 
For Jehovah told Gideon to choose only the men who keep watching while they drink. The rest, God said, should be sent home. Let's see why. Congo, no. What the heck? Like a Ruth. Aww, I love that, Danielle. Ruth was a beautiful person. And I can understand. You, you are a Ruth. And it's not a bad thing. The Israelites are in a lot of trouble again. The reason is that they have not obeyed Jehovah. The people of Midian had gained power over them and are hurting them. So the Israelites cry to Jehovah for help. And Jehovah listens to their cries. Jehovah tells Gideon to get an army. So Gideon gathers together 32,000 fighting men. But there is an army of 135,000 men against Israel. And yet Jehovah tells Gideon, you have too many men. Why did Jehovah say that? It is because if Israel won the war... They might think that they won by themselves. They might think that they didn't need Jehovah's help to win. Shh. So Jehovah says to Gideon, Tell all the men who are afraid to go back home. When Gideon does this, 22,000 of his fighting men go home. That leaves him only 10,000 men to fight against all those 135,000 soldiers. But listen, Jehovah says, you still have too many men. So he tells Gideon to have the men drink at Congo, to have the men drink at this stream, and then to send home all the people who put their face down in the water to drink. Congo, stop. I will give you the victory with the 300 men who kept watching while they drank, Jehovah promises. The time comes for the fight. Gideon puts his 300 men in three groups. He gives to each man a horn and a jar with a torch inside it. When it is about midnight, they all gather around the camp of enemy soldiers. Then, at the same time, they all blow their horns and break their jars and shout, Jehovah's sword and Gideon's. When the enemy soldiers wake up, they are confused and afraid. They all begin to run, and the Israelites win the battle. Story number 53, Jephthah's Promise. Have you ever made a promise and later found it hard to keep? The man in this picture did, and that is why he is so sad. The man is a brave judge of Israel named Jephthah. Jephthah lives at a time when the Israelites are no longer worshiping Jehovah. They are, again, doing what is bad. So Jehovah lets the people of Ammon hurt them. This makes the Israelites cry out to Jehovah, We have sinned against you. Please save us. The people are sorry for the bad things that they have done. They show that they are sorry by worshiping Jehovah again. And so again, Jehovah helps them. Jephthah is chosen by the people to fight against the bad Ammonites. Jephthah wants very much for Jehovah to help him in the fight. So he promises Jehovah, if you give me victory over the Ammonites, the first person that comes out of my house to meet me when I return from the victory, I will give to you. Jehovah listens to Jephthah's promise and he helps him to win the victory. When Jephthah returns home, 
Do you know who the first one is to come out to meet him? It is his daughter, who is his only child. Oh, my daughter, Jephthah cries. What sadness you are bringing me. But I have made a promise to Jehovah and I cannot take it back. When Jephthah's daughter learns about his promise, at first she is sad too. But it means that she will have to, for it means that she will have to leave her father and friends. But she will spend the rest of her life serving Jehovah at his tabernacle in Shiloh. So she tells her father, if you have made a promise to Jehovah, you must keep it. Raza, if I keep scratching, you're going to stay awake. I need you to try to go to bed. No, every time I scratch you, you stay awake even longer. No. Okay. So Jephthah's daughter goes to Shiloh, and she spends the rest of her life serving Jehovah at his tabernacle. Four days out of every year, the women of Israel go to visit her there, and they have a happy time together. The people love Jephthah's daughter because she is such a good servant of Jehovah. Story number 54. The Strongest Man. This is the last story. I need you to try to close your eyes and stop moving around, please. Do you know the name of the strongest man who ever lived? He is a judge named Samson. It is Jehovah who gives Samson his strength. Even before Samson is born, Jehovah tells his mother, Soon you will have a son. He will take the lead in saving Israel from the Philistines. The Philistines are bad people who live in Canaan. They have many fighting men and they really hurt the Israelites. Once, when Samson is on his way to where the Philistines live, a big lion comes roaring out to meet him. But Samson kills the lion with only his bare hands. He also kills hundreds of bad Philistines. Later, Samson falls in love with a woman named Delilah. The Philistine leaders promise that each of them will give Delilah 1,100 pieces of silver if she tells them what makes Samson so strong? Delilah wants all that money. She is not a true friend of Samson or of God's people. So she keeps asking Samson what it is that makes him so strong. Finally, Delilah gets Samson to tell her the secret of his strength. My hair has never been cut, he says. From the time that I was born, God chose me to be a special servant of his called the Nazarite. If my hair was cut, I would lose my strength. Well, when Delilah learns this, she has Samson go to sleep on her lap. Then she calls a man to come in and cut his hair. When Samson wakes up, he has lost his strength. The Philistines then come in and capture him. They put out both his eyes and make him their slave. One day, the Philistines have a big party to worship their god, Dagon, and they bring Samson out of prison to make fun of him. In the meantime, Samson's hair has grown again. Samson says to the, little, to the boy who is leading him by the hand, Let me touch the pillars that hold the building up. Then Samson prays to Jehovah for strength and takes hold of the pillars. He cries out, Let me die with the Philistines. There are 3,000 Philistines at the party. And when Samson bends himself against the pillars, the building falls down and kills all these bad people. Story number 55 a little boy serves God. Isn't this a good looking little boy? His name is Samuel, and the man with his hand on Samuel's head is Israel's high priest. Oh, 
Israel's high priest Eli, that is, Samuel's father Elkanah and his mother Hannah, who are bringing Samuel to Eli. Samuel is only about four or five years old, but he will live here at Jehovah's Tabernacle with Eli and the other high priests. Why would Elkanah and Hannah give someone so young as Samuel to serve Jehovah at the tabernacle? Let's see. It was just a few years before this that Hannah was very sad. The reason is that she could not have a baby, and she wanted one very, very much, Natalie. So one day when Hannah was visiting Jehovah's tabernacle, she prayed, Oh, Jehovah, do not forget me. If you give me a son, I promise that I will give him to you so he can serve you all his life. Mommy, why aren't you asleep? Okay, please hurry. It's very late, Mommy. Hannah loved her little boy, and she began teaching him about Jehovah when he was still very little. She told her husband, As soon as Samuel is old enough, so he does not need to be nursed anymore, I will take him to the tabernacle to serve Jehovah there. This is what we see Hannah and Elkanah doing, El Elkanah doing in the picture. And because Samuel has been taught so well by his parents, he is glad to be able to serve Jehovah here at Jehovah's tent. Each year, Hannah and Elkanah come to worship at this special tent and to visit their little boy. And each year, Hannah brings a new sleeveless cloak, coat that she has made for Samuel. As the years go by, Samuel keeps on serving at Jehovah's Tabernacle, and both Jehovah and the people like him. Both high priest Eli's son, Hophni and Phinehas, are no good. They do many bad things and get others to disobey Jehovah too. Eli should remove them from being priests, but he does not. Young Samuel doesn't let any of the bad things going on at the tabernacle cause him to stop serving Jehovah. But because so few people really love Jehovah, it has been a long time since Jehovah has spoken to any human. When Samuel grows a little older, this is what happens. Samuel is asleep in the tabernacle when a voice wakes him up. He answers, here I am. And he gets up and runs to Eli and says, you called me and here I am. But Eli answers, I did not call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel goes back to bed. Then there is a second call. Samuel. So Samuel gets up and again runs to Eli. You called me, and here I am. He says, but he says, but Eli answers, I did not call my son. Lie down again. So Samuel returns to bed. Samuel, the voice calls a third time. So Samuel runs to Eli. Here I am. For you must have called me this time, he says. Eli now, Eli knows now that it must be Jehovah who is calling. So he tells Samuel, go lie down once more. And if he calls again, you must say, speak Jehovah, for your servant is listening. This is what Samuel says when Jehovah calls again. Jehovah then tells Samuel that he is going to punish Eli and his sons. Later, Hophni and Phinehas die in battle with the Philistines. And when Eli hears what has happened, he falls over, breaks his neck, and dies too. So Jehovah's word comes true. Samuel grows up and becomes the last judge of Israel. When he grows old, the people ask him, Choose a king to rule over us. Samuel does not want to do this, because really Jehovah is their king. But Jehovah tells him to listen to the people. I'm so tired.
but he's finally asleep. He just fell asleep during that story, so I'll read another one. Part 4. Israel's First King to Captivity in Babylon Saul became Israel's first king, but Jehovah rejected him, and David was chosen to be king in his place. As a youth, he fought against the giant Goliath. Later, he fled from jealous King Saul. Then beautiful Abigail stopped him from doing a foolish thing. Next, we learn many things about David's son Solomon, who took David's place as king of Israel. The first three kings of Israel each ruled for 40 years. After Solomon's death, Israel was divided into two kingdoms, a northern and a southern kingdom. The northern ten-tribe kingdom lasted 257 years before it was destroyed by the Assyrians. Then 133 years later, the southern two-tribe kingdom was also destroyed. At this time, the Israelites were taken captive to Babylon. So part four covers 510 years of history, during which time many exciting events pass before our view. There we go. We all have the same strengths of Samson, just our strengths are different and many wonderful. Yeah. Oh, Daniel. Okay, he's finally finished. I love you, Daniel. I hope you guys love story time. This is... See? We are literally reading stories from the Bible. You... If you want to be closer to God, the best way to do that is by diving into the Bible. It, if you believe that the Bible is God's word, then you want to get familiar with the stories from the Bible. My book of Bible stories is very convenient and easy because they are taking big stories, true Bible accounts, and putting them in ways that it's easy for children to understand, okay? So let me show you. I'm going to show you how to get there so that you guys can do this for your children or for yourself, dude. I love these stories, okay? Go to JW Library. Okay. Now I put it right here up in favorites, but you're going to go to library. You're going to go to books. And then my book of Bible stories. These like these are so look at you want to know where Babel or Babylon comes from from this one. This is such a cool story. Wait, let me look at that. Okay. Many years passed. Noah's sons had lots of children, and their children grew up and had more children. Soon there were many people on the earth. One of these persons was a great grandson of Noah named Nimrod. He was a bad man who hunted and killed both animals and men. Nimrod also made himself a king to rule over other people. God did not like Nimrod. All the people at that time spoke one language. Nimrod wanted to keep them all together so that he could rule them. So do you know what he did? He told the people to build a city and a big tower in it. See them in the picture making bricks? Jehovah God was not pleased with this building. God wanted the people to move out and live all over the earth. But the people said, come on, let's build a city and a tower so high that its top will reach into the heavens. Then we will be famous. The people wanted honor for themselves, not for God. So God made the people stop building the tower. Do you know how he did it? by suddenly causing people to speak different languages instead of just one. 
No longer did the builders understand one another. This is why their city came to be called Babel, or Babylon, meaning confusion. The people now began, began to move away from Babel, or Babel, I don't know how to say it. Groups of persons who spoke the same language went to live together in other parts of the earth. And that's why we have different languages in the world today, you guys. Did you know that? Crazy. <laughs> These are just cool little stories because it's like, it's really from the Bible, but they put it in a way where it's like, it's easy for children to understand. And it's great for adults because the more you get to know the Bible and the things that happen in it, the less scary it is, you know? And the Bible is not some mystery. It's really not hard to understand because there are Bible study aids that help you understand the Bible. So, anyways, I'm glad y'all stayed with me for such a long time. We had dinner as a family. We played a game. I, sh I, I, I trimmed my pubes. I trimmed my armpit hair, brushed my teeth. Now I'm about to get in the shower. And y'all heard the bedtime story with Raza. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night.